Well, Sherry, the five passenger minivans do come with an operator that sits behind the steering wheel for emergencies, but a computer is doing all the driving. Today, we got a chance to see the cutting edge transit tech in action firsthand. Look, Ma, no hands or feet. Can't see my feet, but I'm not doing anything <laughs> down there either. Meet the potential future of Birmingham Transit. This May Mobility Autonomous minivan boasts the tools to track moving objects in every direction. We've got um, five LIDARs, five radars, um, I believe nine cameras. Today, the BJCTA invited the driverless transit vendor to the Magic City to show local leaders what the future of catching a ride in town could be. They claim a vehicle which drives itself is nothing to be afraid of. It's been tested and it works very well and you'll see safety out there. The vehicle can tell when something's coming its way. It knows when to stop. It knows when to uh, yield. So those type of things have been put into place. Watch this display in the van as we approach a woman standing near the curb. We just weren't sure if they were going to step out. The vehicle stopped itself completely and allowed the pedestrian to crawl safely. In addition to its max bus routes, the BJCTA already offers via on demand. It's a van shuttle service which May Mobility Rep Daisy Wall claims they would partner with. So you could book a ride and instead, you know, you would either have a via vehicle pick you up or you could have an, a, you know, a May autonomous vehicle pick you up. But what's the price of riding like the Jetsons? Wall said it should not really run riders more than a typical bus fare. We wouldn't stipulate the cost. It would be up to the city and the transit agency. And so in some locations, if they have a federal grant that covers everything, it's free. It's the getting used to seeing a self-turning steering wheel, which might be a bigger challenge. Now, the BJCTA has not signed up May Mobility for a pilot program just yet, but if enough county and city, city leaders support the idea, you could be hopping in a, drive, a driverless van to get around the Magic City before too long. Live in Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.